And so that's why it starts off. Well, here's how it started. Heard you on the radio talking about rap, saying all that crap about how we sample, giving examples. Think we'll let you get away with that. There's no real A&R there at Tommy Boy at all. Definitely nobody that was at that level, mind level, ever us. And it would have propelled um, the group because um, videos became important at that day and time. And, and it was the newest market. So uh, we took to the next level when we, um, when we uh, put the stamp on that we are the hip hop band. Listen to all the hip hop records back in the 80s. You've never heard no rap artist or act said anything about being a hip hop band. They like pin that. 83 or 84. Mr. Magic had a, a citywide rap, the rap attack had a citywide rap contest. For the first time in history, Step actually won all three places. First, second, and third. The emerging rap market presented a lot of opportunity for an independent label, because as all the labels that were putting out rap um, were, the, were the independent labels. So it was sort of like it was a territory that the labels were, the major labels were completely sleeping on. When you see a Run DMC and you see a LL Cool J and so forth and so on, if you trust the process, you know, sky's the limit. And um, to me, we had that kind of record from the Sally record for them to actually put a video behind it. We didn't feel the pressure. We just knew that anything that we was going to do, anything that we wanted to do, um, we had to be different. Considering the chemistry of the group, you know you got the DJ, you got the human beatbox, you got the keyboard player, you got the vocalist, and you got the drummer. You know what I'm saying? So we wanted to come with something different. One of the greatest groups of all time that people just don't talk about. Like, why not? If you were there and saw what they brought to the table, they inspired a lot of groups. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. They were a band before the Roots. I mean, you, you heard Super Love of Seas join. Doom, 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 doom. But then when you heard that. Rash, rash, Of course, you expect your record label to push you to the moon. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what artists don't? You know, we expect, you know, for our records to be getting played on the radio and posters and stuff like that, hanging all over the place and stuff, and, you know, getting paid, you know, royalties handsomely, you know what I'm saying? We expect all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, expecting one thing and then getting is something, two totally different things. You good or you not? That was good. And this is the untold story of Stetsasonic. Stetsasonic, the original hip hop band, was formed in the early 80s. The group consists of Daddy O, Delight, Fruquan, Wise, DBC, Bobby Simmons, and DJ Prince Paul. The year was 1981 in Brooklyn when Daddy O and Delight was inspired to rap because of a tape they heard from Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. But there was also another group called the Stetson Brothers who influenced them by changing their style. In the very beginning, I didn't know what hip hop was, right? I used to be, um, I used to be a Muslim. I used to live in the Ansar Allah community. And a little guy came by, because um, I used to have my box on the on the stoop at night, you know, when the brothers used to get home. I used to have my box on the stoop, a little dude came by, I was playing reggae, and he said, yo, did you ever hear hip hop? And I was like, what is hip hop? And he, um, he said, let me show you this tape. And he, he played this Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five tape. 